hello, today I'm here with a new video and this video has maybe a little unusual backstory because <laughs> me and my boyfriend we were at vacation in Copenhagen and when we are going to bed my boyfriend like I have a video idea for you and I was like what? <laughs> uh, he has no makeup interest whatsoever and he was like you can do a video about palettes where there is one shade that doesn't fit in and I was like that's pretty good pretty good video idea so that is what I'm doing today and do I look super small <sighs> we have to deal with it we have to live with it so I have picked out some palettes where I think there is one shade that doesn't fit in or one shade that I don't want in the palette and <laughs> I asked my boyfriend like what do you want to call it and he was like odd one out so this is called odd one out makeup edition or maybe eyeshadow palettes edition or something or the odd one out so I took his help with this or I showed him all my eyeshadow palettes and we talked a little bit and he was like this was not what I was thinking about because he was like I thought in each eyeshadow palettes or in many eyeshadow palettes is going to be one shade that is like what and it's not but I have quite a lot of palettes and some of them, them, them have one shade that I don't think belong in this palette that I want to change out and some of them I have some other complaints about so we just get started so yeah it's a lot of palettes and I don't know if this idea exists before I have searched a little bit but I couldn't find anything if I have found something now when this coming up I will put all the info in the description I know that some people do like what I think the palette should look like like rearrange things and stuff like that but then people usually talk about one palette and now I have I think it's like 10 or something so yeah we're just going to start and I'm going to start with Kaleidos Makeup Futurism 3 Astro Pink and I like all these palettes it's just some things I want to change about them so this palette looks like this and what I want to change in this is I want to switch out one of these two. I don't know which one. I think I think this one. I would love if this would have been like a bright neon pink instead of two shades that are almost the same. This is a little bit darker. I would love if this was a bright pink, neon pink instead. So yeah, that's how this is going. So next up we have Nabla the Poison Garden and things I don't like about this that like everybody says it's no gardeny about this whatsoever and I know the shade I don't like in this palette is this one. I understand they wanted a really pop of color but this is such a bad shade. It doesn't you can't blend it out, it lost all of the blue, it just get like muddy. So this one in the Poison Garden, I would like if this was a green instead of a blue. Then it would have been more fun and I have... I think more people have liked it because it feels like this shade throws people off because it's such a bad shade, it doesn't perform as you wish it would. So if this was a green, I would love that. And I think a lot of people would have liked this palette a lot more if that had been a green. Okay, next up we have the Feral palette by Menagerie Cosmetics. And I have now the two new shades. But I actually don't think this shades... I don't like this shade. I like the shade that was in here before more. I think that people like this shade more. Okay, I am so small. <sighs> I have the palettes in my lap and I don't want to drop them. I don't like this one in here. I don't know why. I haven't tried it yet because I 
put it in here yesterday. <laughs> I just don't like it in this palette. I think the other one that was there before was better. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion, but that's what I think about the Ferro palette. Now it's going to be a palette that not only have one shade, but have a little bit more. And this is the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Flaming Love. It looks like this. This palette is so good. <laughs> My problem with this is these colorful colors are all shimmers and these matte ones are browns. I would love if there could be one matte colorful shade. I think I would want to switch out this one and have, I don't know which color, but a colorful matte. Or I would like to take all out all of these three colors and have a black and then two matte colorful shadows. That have would have been such a fun palette. But that is not the case and this feels like a colorful palette but also a palette that is like one pop of color, if you get what I mean. So I don't really like the color scheme in this one. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. This was most my boyfriend choice, but I, I think I agree with him. This look like this, and the shade that I, I like it, but I don't think it goes with so many of the other shadows. I think this palette is pretty hard palette to do something with if you are not comfortable with makeup. This is not a beginner palette, and this is not even av available anymore. This was a. Uh, limited edition and can you guess which shade I love the shade but I think that it belongs but it doesn't belong and it's this one this swear swear sphere sphere maybe it is it is a cool shade but I think it's hard to incorporate it I think I can do it but I don't think everybody can do it and I feel I don't really think, feel it belong, even though I think it's cool, but it is a little bit odd. The odd one out in this palette. This is going to be a long video because I am like halfway through. So, next up. This is also a limited edition. This is the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani. And should I have moved the angle? It's a little bit late for that now. So, we just continue. This is Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay. This is e not available either, and it looks like this. I don't like this blue one. This is like a typical, we put in a pop of color. I don't think it should be here. I don't know what I would want, but not this blue, because not everybody loves blue. So I think it's... I just don't like it that much in this palette. So the blue one could go for me. And it's also called Danger. I think that is a strange name for blue. It's nothing dangerous about the blue. Creepy Cute by Strobe. I love this palette as you may know. And I think you know which color I don't want in this palette. I don't want the grey. I don't know what color I would choose instead. I like the black because these are pretty light colors and it's always good to make like a big contrast or deepen things down. But the gray one, I don't think it adds something to this. It doesn't make it more interesting, it doesn't do anything for this. I would like another one instead of the gray. Maybe a yellow. I would like pastely yellow. Like this green but a yellow instead, that would have been awesome. Then we have the Certified Tropical Wonders and this is a rainbow palette and I don't like the grey in this one either. I don't feel that grey has a place in rainbow palettes. It's down here, Typhoon. And why I think that is because I don't like grey eyeshadow. I think grey is just grey period. I don't like them, so I don't think it fit in here. 
maybe just my opinion, but no. I would like maybe a darker green or like a light, oh, light purple. I think this is missing a light purple. So take out the grey and put in light purple and I will love this even more. I still love this palette. But yeah, that would have been so great. Okay, now we have UV's Place left. Four palettes from UV's Place. So we can start with Mini Masquerade by UV's. And the thing I don't like in this palette, it is more than just <laughs> one odd one out. I don't like that it's not, it's too few matte colorful. This palette is, this half is colorful and this half is neutral. But the only two matte colorful shadows you have are these two and these are pretty similar. And then you have like one, two, four matte brown. I don't like it about this. So I would like if either switch out one of the browns to a matte green instead or switch out one of these or even this one because I like them. It has too few of matte colorful shadows. I think it needed one more and one more less brown. Then we have the Doucet palette and as you know if you have seen my ranking of my UV's Place, this is the palette I like the least. It looks like this. I think this has a pretty unique color story for UV's Place especially, but also for some of the other palettes out there and brands. But I don't like this Mont Blanc. I would want this to be something else. I know that some people love this, but it's not, it's not as good as UV's Place other shimmers. And they usually have amazing shimmers, so that bums me out a little bit. And I I don't think it belongs in here. My boyfriend thought this didn't belong, but I like it do. But I don't like the grey one in this. I think they would... This palette would be better if they switched it out and maybe took like a purple shimmer instead. I would have liked it. And another thing that bugs me about this palette, and I think some other people as well, it's this color is called Berry Mousse, and this one is called Custard. I think it should have been the opposite, because Custard doesn't look like that, and Berry Mousse doesn't look like that. So we can take <laughs> the Magic palette. Yes, I have the big palette. Don't buy it because it's too big. And this look like this. And I feel the same about this as I do with the Mini Masquerade. I would like something more colorful matte. You have these two but these are pretty. This, this is blue and this is purple. I think they are too alike. So I would like if somebody somebody some of these would switch and be like a green instead because you have these two green and I think this is a little bit green yeah, this is this is almost black with this is not like matte but it's not shimmer I don't know why it's watch here it's like a satin but I would like a green instead like a little brighter green one of these two, I don't know which one because I like them both, but I would love a matte brighter green in this palette. I think it would be so cool and mixing that with this gold one, like a matte pretty bright green and this gold because this gold is amazing, that would have been so such a good look. So yeah, that was the magic palette. And then the palette that I thought about first when my boyfriend came up with this idea. It's the Zulu palette by UVS and I guess you know which one I'm going to say. I'm going to say the one that everybody says, the brown one. If this would have been a red, this palette would be perfection. I love this palette so 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 much. But this would have been perfection if this was a red instead of a brown. 
I don't really know why they put a brown in it. I don't think anybody buys this and like it's going to be my everyday palette for work when I have to do something a little bit more toned down. You don't buy this palette then? No. And I don't think people like... I have one eyeshadow palette and it's the Zula palette by Ubias. I don't think so. So a matte red in this. If they ever come out with a matte red that suits in the festival palette <laughs> I would like take it out and put it in here you just come with single shadows and I will fix this palette for you yeah that was all the palette so this was one was my odd one out that my boyfriend came up with I'm pretty like I'm a little bit impressed so I really hope you liked this video and if you want to do it, do it and do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Do you think I missed some of the palettes or do you think I am wrong? Um, I at least really hope you liked this video. This was so fun to just talk about palettes because I usually don't talk about palettes like this. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!